In 87, Huey released this for the most accomplished al album. Huey released this for a most accomplished album. I think their song masterpiece is Hip to Be Square. A song so catchy, but most of the people don't most people don't listen to the lyrics. But they should, because it's not just a form in itself news, but it's also a political statement about themselves. Hey Paul! Try saying I you stupid You stupid Alright, welcome back to Ringtober. Today's movie review is American Psycho. American Psycho stars Christian Bale, Jared Leto, Josh Lucas, Willem Dafoe, and a story about this g guy named Patrick Bateman, who is 27 years old. The whole movie is filmed in the 80s in New, New York City, but kind of a little bit of Chicago. But, uh... Patrick Bateman is 27 years old. He's like a CEO businessman. He really works a lot. Like a very hard CEO businessman, a business card. Then you, when he showed about with his business card of like how popular he is, some he gets jealous on more on other people, but he's mostly jealous by this other guy named Paul Allen, who's, who is played by Jared Leto, the one who plays Joker from Suicide Squad, uh, Rayon, uh, <clears throat> Rayon from... Uh, Dallas Buyers Club, and uh, Wallace from Blade Runner 2049. And uh, when Wallace came over to Patrick Bateman, Wallace came to eat dinner with Patrick Bateman, they went to Patrick Bateman's house, Patrick Bateman kills him, and then like he, Patrick Bateman starts literally going insane. Like he's literally an insane psychopath. And here's what I say about with American Psycho. I, it is literally a horror film. It's scary. But it's also with comedy. Like, you gotta add a little bit of comedy. And, like, sometimes when, like, people tell you lies in the stories, you'll probably go, like... Ugh. <laughs> That's literally how American Psycho is. And this could have been a, could have been a movie that should have been a midnight release. Like, watch this at midnight and get very suspicious of how this film could be. When Patrick Bateman tells lies and murders people. Like, if you try to, like, make out with him, he'll literally kill you or bite you to death. Alright? Like, I'll say this. Don't mess with Bateman. Don't mess with Patrick Bateman. And, uh... Literally, some of the scenes and story gets a little weird and awkward and I just go like when sometimes they just like talk quiet and I'm like hmm something's not right here <laughs> and then like when there's like a nail gun to head and I go oh god then like phone interrupts have something that way like have something of a movie that could be half scary or half strange awkward weird crazy have something of Christian Bale to go crazy and act like a Joker. Something like that. Like, Christian Bale was, like, literally entertaining in this film. And this movie is very entertaining. Like, it's got entertaining scenes into this. But, I mean, I wouldn't say this is not one of my favorite horror movies. I mean, I got more favorites, like The Evil Dead Saga, uh, Christine, Halloween, or uh, <laughs> Cape Fear. I mean, I never saw Cape Fear. Really? Yeah, sure. Uh, that's literally that. So, here's why I say American Psycho. Screen, like, also with the screenplay's very interesting. Because it, like, tells, like, Patrick Bateman acts like he's all 80s teen-ish, teen but he's an adult and who's 27. And, like, people, and it's literally all business people try to be popular or something. Like, they're in high school. Something like that. And, uh, good production design of, like, and good, like, land shots, but I feel like some goes, like, parts of it in Chicago, parts of it in New York, but kind of most of it's filmed in New York. So, that's literally gonna be all I have. American Psycho is fun, entertaining, brutal, and an entertaining horror movie. Awkward, weird, strange, crazy, a movie that'll make you very suspicious and uh, would have been worth for a midnight release, but I didn't never saw this in the 2000s because I was 
I was not here. So, American Psycho, I'll give you a 9 out of 10 and an A. I mean, if I say 9 out of 10 and an A, don't have Christian Bale come into the house and kill me. No, or I should say, don't have uh, Patrick Bateman come into the house and kill me. I'm just saying it for a joke. So, stay tuned for more Ringtober events, and, uh, and make sure, stay tuned for a surprise review, but I can't tell you. Alright? That is all I got, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.